delicious and super simple branzino al cartocho. Stay tuned for the recipe. Hello everybody, this is Alessandra. Welcome to my home, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're making branzino. You all know I never choose recipes ahead of time. It's only when I go to the stores. What speaks to me is what we're eating. And this branzino, they were on sale, which is always a plus, but they were very, very fresh. Come closer, I wanna show you a few of the tips you need to look for that the fish is fresh. The eyes are not cloudy, They're, uh, the fish is wet looking. When you look on the ear, you see that there's a nice um, pink flesh and not dried. And of course, always your nose, let it do its thing where you smell it. I know sometimes the, the guy behind the counter is not gonna let you smell the fish but I usually get to do that. So look, it was nice and fresh. So that's why we're making branzino. Simple ingredients that you have at home. So we have the fresh branzino, lots of extra virgin olive oil. We have garlic, chili pepper. You could use red chili flakes, olives, capers. This is what you find in my luggage when I come back from Italy. Capers is sold vacuum pack and then I put them in a jar, keep them in the fridge for a long time. Fresh parsley, uh, did I mention cherry tomatoes? And these uh, salt. Large piece of aluminum paper and then you're gonna line it with parchment paper and just set that on the side. Now, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and add the salt on the fish. Make sure you turn it, okay. I know now I'm gonna, let me, um, you know what? Look at this. These are the tricks of not contaminating anything. So these two fingers I touch a fish, I'm not gonna touch anything else. Um, okay, well salted, let me rinse my hands and I'll be right back. Olive oil all over the branzino and what we're going to do is just rub it everywhere like this. Make sure you get it inside too. Let's move it over right on the parchment paper. Okay, so my olives have pits. You could, you could be smart and buy pitted olives, but mine have pits, so this is what you do. You move them on the um, cutting board, a nice uh, wide blade knife, and ba-boom, smack it down, and the pit gets easily removed. Now let's place all the ingredients on here. Is the garlic. Don't forget, whatever you add, make sure you add a little bit also inside the body of the branzini here. Here goes the garlic. Then we're going to add the chili. I'm gonna crush it with my hand just like this. A little bit inside, of course. Rinse the capers in cold water and just add them on. Look at these beautiful cherry tomatoes. I could something not taste good with all fresh ingredients like this. So I'm just gonna slice them in half and add them. If you've ever been to Napoli, you've probably seen, as you're just driving around the area, that outside their balconies, they have these large garlands, I'm gonna call them, of uh, cherry tomatoes like this. And they're called Pomodorini del Pinolo. And every home has them and they last for months. So they get picked in the summer months and you could have these tomatoes probably right through Christmas and even later. So it's amazing. Uh, they learn to preserve uh, these little jewels that they picked during the summer. So if you, never, if, you, if you have not visited Napoli, it's time to go. Perché si dice, vira Napoli e pomora. These are little, a saying that's, so true, but we don't want to die. We want to go visit and go again and go again. Go ahead and score the top of the fish. Just like this. Three cuts. Should be plenty. Go ahead and do it on both sides. I'm going to stick the little pieces of garlic right in the slits. Olives right on. Fresh parsley. Now we're, I'm just gonna pick it here. It's washed already. Now, this is what I like to do. Bunch it up. 
and there you go. Chop, chop, chop. You have your parsley right on. Don't forget to lift up a little bit and put some inside too for extra flavor. A little bit more salt on all the ingredients. When you think you have enough olive oil, you add a little bit more. Quindi ora mettiamo un po' un filo d'olio on everywhere, on the tomatoes, on the olives. So we're gonna start and cominciamo dalla testa. We start with the head and here we go. Ecco qui. Now it's time to wrap the cartoccio. So we're gonna go like this. And we're gonna seal the sides. We're gonna make it look like a candy, you see? When you go to the restaurants in Italy, they wrap it up just like this, like a candy. And you get served a cartoccio. Um, stay tuned, we're gonna make a lot of cartoccio recipes, especially uh, risotto alla pescatore is delicious. Um, and also spaghetti con le mongole a cartoccio. Anything a cartoccio is just really delicious. On a cookie sheet, oven on 350, and let's get it cooked. Let's open it together. Be careful with the burst of steam coming out. Guardate un po', oh, che profumo, I wish you could smell it. I'm getting very excited to taste it for you. It's not for me, it's for you, because I gotta let you know if it's delicious or not. Oh, che bontà, che bontà. I'm going to garnish it with more fresh parsley. Okay, let's just open one. Look at this white, beautiful, moist meat. Look at that. Guardate un po', che bellezza. I'm going to make sure I get some of this juice before I go ahead and taste it. I want everything I have in here on my fork. It's gonna be hot, but it's gonna be worth it. No, no parole, I have no words. Delicioso, simple, delicious, and oh wow, really feels like something you would eat at a fancy Italian restaurant. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, share the recipe, most importantly, make the recipes and enjoy them with your loved ones. Grazie, arrivederci, alla prossima, and let's keep cooking together. Ciao, ciao.